Hello, uh, my name is Tony Coburn and this morning I've come in a, a 1925 Phantom 1. We've had it about um, six years, it's um, eight litres, um, which is um, perfectly adequate for such a, it's a big car. Um, but if you equate that to um, modern motor cars, each piston is 1300cc, which is the size of a, an, a small family, um, family car, and I have six of those um, 1300cc you see pistons so totally adequate uh, performance um, the bodywork is a um, Tura uh, uh, it's a copy of a, a Barker um, body because the original body rotted and um, the car was found on a farm in Kent with a, a truck body on it um, in about um, 19, late 60s uh, and then um, they were worth nothing I think that I seem to remember the figure of 25 pounds being paid for it um, in the late 60s um, but with this truck body on it um, and the guy uh, who used it around the farm um, uh, stopped using it um, because he came across a Model T Ford which was much cheaper to uh, on petrol um, than um, this 8 litre Phantom 1. <laughs> it was actually in an auction um, about um, yeah, seven, eight years ago and I th I, I can't, I've forgotten the figures now um, but um, I um, offered Bonhams half what the, was being asked for it and they said oh no the guy won't take that um, so um, I said well don't mind you know, I'm not that worried about it I'd like to own it but um, it's not that important and um, he came back to me about half an hour later with a revised figure it'll take X plus 20,000 and um, I said no it's X and that's it um, and then about an hour later he came back to me and said you bought it um, so it was price <laughs> Oh, absolute delight to drive. Um, you just put it in top gear, and we came up South Harting Hill, which um, is a, <clears throat> I, it's a, it's a it's a problem in in, in a lot of old cars. Um, but this, you just retired the ignition, uh, um, uh, richen the mixture, and leave it in top gear, and it just plods up South Harting Hill. It's it's quite delightful to drive. Um, traffic, of course. Um, not too good. It's just so big. Um, the brakes on it are absolutely spectacular. Um, they, it stops dead. Um, this is the first, um, oh, we've got to be careful here, I think it was the first Rolls-Royce with four wheel brakes. Um, they, I think in, I, if memory serves me right, they did actually come out with only rear wheel brakes, um, but then they were retrofitted with front wheel brakes. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're all keep keepers. Now, I, um, as I said, I've been in the motorway all my life, but, um, and so many people say, cool, that's a nice tone, how much is that? No, no, it is not for sale. Um, it's just, yeah. Also, of course, what do you do with money these days? There is no point in having money. Um, a lot of people would argue with that, but um, I'd, rather, I'd rather have this. Um, you know, having lots of money in the bank. Um, no, I can only live in one house. I, I suppose you could also say I can only drive one car, so why have eight? I don't know. <laughs>